Okay, here we are in the customer's house in the city of Westlake Village. We're going to be stretching two rooms of carpet and fixing a, uh, a little chip in the wood. First thing we're, I'll do is I'll show you what we're going to be, what we're up against. Then I'll go through how to use the power stretcher and the mini stretcher. And then we'll I'll even look at the, uh, the wood patch as well. So here's the, the ripples in the carpet. There's one there. There's one there. There's Alan working on the on the edge already with the uh, kneeless stretcher. Uh, Alan, why don't you just show us how the kneeless works? Oh. Well, you just engage the teeth here. Put your knee on top of it. Engage the teeth up front. And, and give press it. on the handle. You don't want to press too fast, too quickly, because it might tear the carpet. Very good. So that's that's the first room. And here's the second room. We'll get back to this room later. Okay, now we're setting up the power stretcher. And the way the power stretcher works is we butt it up against one wall. Then we attach these tubes to go all the way across the room to the other wall. And then on that complete other side is the head of the power stretcher. And what we're going to do is we're going to just use that leverage from the power stretcher and pull the carpet straight across. So Alan is uh, using the uh, the awl. Oh, okay, I'm using the awl. Oh no, I'm just showing you to uh, pick up the edge of the carpet here. Now I'm just going to set the power stretcher down and use this lever to pull the carpet. Now if I start from way up here, that would pull far too much. So I'm going to start from here and pull it just about like that. And check and see if the ripple came out. How's that ripple, Alan? Is it That's, done? No. So I need to stretch it a little bit further. And now the carpet is flat. Just to be on the safe side, I want to pull it a little bit more because when you give it a lifetime labor guarantee, you want to really make sure you got it right. So give it a little bit extra. And I'm gonna just go ahead and cut, cut the carpet as much as I think it needs to be cut. If I don't cut it quite enough, I can always cut more. If I cut it a little too short, no harm done. I can always stretch it a little bit more with this big stretcher here. Now I've cut the carpet as much as I think it needs to be cut. I'm just going to use a kicker now. I put the knife out of my way so I don't hurt myself. And I just kick the carpet a little bit to hold it in place and tuck it down. And that, that part's done. And all I have to do is just make sure it's really in there really well. And I'm not satisfied with that sort of stick, so I better use I better use the uh, the stapler.
tax strip should have been enough to hold this carpet in place, but because I'm putting such a hard stretch on it, I'm reinforcing it a little bit with the with the carpet stapler. And I just move the power stretcher over just a little bit. And I'm all tangled up here. Give it a nice touch. And Alan will continue along. He'll, he'll be cutting off as much carpet he needs and tucking it in and working his way straight across the room. And that's how we use the power stretcher.